going to the marketplace and just as soon as you get there, you get the smells of the food frying, you see the beautiful baskets, the piles of rice and beans in burlap bags, um, you see the marchands, the, the merchants, in all kinds of mixed match clothing with the mountains in the background. That's what I love painting. The f folks who collect my market scenes, I think the reason that they do is because like me they're nostalgic about the haiti that we can't go because of the insecurity but in our mind that haiti from the 70s and the early 80s still exists so it allows you to get lost in one of those scenes my favorite uh, medium is oil on canvas so where all the galleries had approached in coral gables or coconut grove when I created this body of work, told me, oh, this is not Haitian art. It's not primitive. Because my art was realistic. It didn't make sense to me because it's art and I'm Haitian. Haitian art. And then, but the whole time, I didn't have my green card yet. I had a work permit. And the attorney decided, you're going to use the approach of proving exceptional talent. And that's how I got my green card. I created a body of work. I, um, I entered contests. I got published in books, in magazines, and I demonstrated all the points. Not having been in Haiti in over 30 years, the fear is real. I just can't take a chance of putting my family in danger, putting myself in danger for the sake of going to Haiti. So um, instead, I go to the Haiti in my head and in my paintings.